Hello everyone, and welcome back to Grayson's Bookmark. It snowed overnight on my college campus, and while admittedly it wasn't much, it still made me feel like staying in and getting some writing done. I try to set small goals, and my goal is usually to write to the next 1,000 words. This morning, I started at around 38,000 words, so my goal for the day was 39,000. I recently started a new project called Project Popstar. I've been writing more days than not recently, and this is something I'm especially proud of. I often use lo-fi music to write, and today I was using Stones of Eden, a dreamy lo-fi mix by Dreamhop Music. And after a good amount of staring at my document, I started to write. Today I decided to go rogue in my outline by skipping chapters 15 and 16 and starting right away in 17. I'm, in general, a linear-ish writer. Um, that's mainly how I function. And so it feels risky to skip chapters for me, even though um, maybe it's a sign that I need to fix those chapters. But today, the chapter I was most interested in writing is chapter 17. And that chapter develops a relationship between the main character and the aforementioned pop star, who isn't really a pop star, but I'll explain that later. I actually find that the amount of time I spent writing is not all fingers on keyboard. It's a lot of figuring out what needs to happen next. And maybe that's because I jumped into Project Popstar without a full outline. The way I've been doing it is I've been writing a few chapters, and then outlining the next few, and then writing those, and then outlining the next. And this is exciting, but sometimes it ends up stopping myself. I like that I am able to discover the plot this way, but sometimes I wonder if the writing would go faster had I fully outlined it in the beginning. Let me know how you outline your books. Sometime later, my word count was sitting at 38,641 words and I thought this was a good place for a break. when I got up, I realized it had snowed a whole lot more, at least a whole lot for North Carolina. So I decided to go out uh, with a mask on. I also thought I should let you know that the lo-fi music you're listening to right now is called Snowflakes. And in the next clip, you're going to see me make a very little icy snowman and be really happy about it.
is too. <laughs> After my little adventure, I didn't write on camera, but I did just lay in bed and write some on my phone. I think it was a good thing for me to switch modes, and then I started later writing that night with some tea. I switched lo-fi, very important. This one was some sort of ethereal fairy mix. And this is me realizing that I had almost written 39,000 words on accident. So I just increased my goal to 40,000. The tea I'm making right here is apple pie rooibos. I think it's time to tell you a little bit more about Project Popstar. My main character's name is Erin, and this is a one perspective book. At least for now. Maybe I might do the second one, but that would be a lot of work. But yeah, she starts the book in her junior year of high school, and by the midpoint, she's already graduated. So I've been doing something different with this plotline. Seaside had a very short timeline, like over two months maybe. It's hot. But Project Popstar spans three years of Erin's life. That messy time between high school and graduation and whatever comes after, when you're trying to figure out who you are, who you love, and what you want to be. I'm trying to show Erin's struggles, triumphs, and especially her mistakes to my readers. And in this vlog, I'm almost to the midpoint, which means that a big shakeup is about to happen. Uh, similar to the way Seaside is structured, my characters will have to begin again and grow. In the past, I've been worried about writing two books with similarities or a comparable structure around the midpoint. But then I recently watched a John Green video, and I'll put it in the description if I can find it again. But John Green said that his first three books were all exploring the same theme, realizing that someone was not what you thought they were, and that they are just human. After his third book, he felt like he had said everything he wanted to say about it. So that makes me feel a little better about my current writing approach, and the fact that Seaside and Project Popstar resonate with each other. And I'm looking forward to the next chapter of my writing cycle, whatever and whatever that may be.
Oh, and one more thing. The pop star in this project is named Abby. For now. She doesn't sing pop music exactly. More like folk, I want to say. I don't know quite yet. I'm still writing lyrics. Think Orla Gartland or Hozier or maybe Dodie Clark. Uh, not that I could ever imitate those people, but I hope to get something of their essence in the final product. I'm having a lot of fun writing songs and lyrics and trying to figure out like what rhymes are okay. The way a song is structured too, like that's very fun to play around with. And finally, here I am checking my word count for the day, and I was quite pleased. Enjoy this next clip of me struggling to write the total. Forty thousand and thirty-seven words means I wrote just over two thousand words today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!